Hey YouTube comic community, this is Jimmy the Geek Aficionado and we are going to unbox a book from my 2021 hunt list, so stay tuned. How's it going comic community? I'm excited, you should be excited, we're all going to be excited because I get to open up this guy. So, um, for those of you who are not aware, I have friends in the community and my friends go hunting. Uh, guys like Three Minute Abasement, whose t-shirt that I'm rocking, thank you very much Otto and the, and the boys for, uh, for sending this to me after uh, having them on What Do You Hunt? Uh, but most importantly, I'm talking about Alex the Comic Quarter. Alex the Comic Quarter has lately been going out and taking the community hunting with him uh, by showing the video of the places he's going to. And that allows us to be able to go on that trip with him and see the books that he sees at these stores and uh, hopefully find our own treasure in those stores as well. Um, and, and this is a story about me not getting a treasure from one of the stores that he went to. Uh, and, and as a matter of fact, I, I got this off of eBay. But what it, what it did do, it, it, uh, it kind of reminded me that, hey, you're probably going to want to go after that. Uh, and uh, after I saw the video, I reached out to the store that he was at and I, you know, I said, hey, uh, what are you looking for for this book? And they were really above market for the condition that they were asking. So um, I passed. And so, and I, and, you know, while I was looking for related, you know, uh, merchandise on there or, you know, a version of it uh, on the old eBay, I made an offer and, uh, and it was accepted. And we got this this nice package right here. So I'm gonna crack this uh, this open for everybody. I'm gonna use my nice Exacto blade. No, I don't have a sponsored one, but I have thought about getting the, the Reggie Collection. We're just gonna go into this guy, who's a very good seller because he was smart enough to pack it in uh, in a Gemini, as well as the bubble wrap package there and I do appreciate that so I got that out man trusty uh, get the good old painters trusty painters tape out right on and I'm just gonna toss that I'm going to carefully cut these corners. Um, so to tell a little bit about the book, uh, this is a book I've been trying to track down for a while. Um, I'm actually, this is one of, not just one of my 2021 home list, but there's another specific purpose around this. This is, I want to say it's one of the last of the books of a collection of books that I'm, that I'm trying to get. Um, and uh, it, it's kind of special because of, uh, because of what it is and uh, in the history, Ooh, I think I just gave it away, uh, the history on it and um, the specific character that gets introduced in it that uh, doesn't show up anywhere else. Uh, and that book is Legion of Monsters, number one. So this uh, this is the first appearance of the Legion of Monsters, uh, including... Uh, uh, is that Dracula back there? Yeah. So we got uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Uh, we have good old Frankenstein's monster over here. But more importantly, we have the Manphibian. This is the first appearance of Manphibian. And I don't think he shows up. He might show up one more time. And I don't recall if he was in the comic book version of Legion of Monsters. Uh, but the best part is that it's the Manphibian. Now, this is the... First appearance of a creature from the Black Lagoon in uh, in comics, and and the collection that I'm talking about is I'm trying to get all the Universal monsters that showed up in Marvel, right? Because they had the rights to them, uh, and I, I've got a lot of them, um, and I want to say I, I might have all all the major ones. The only one that I'm really looking for now is Zombie, right? Which I believe is uh, X O N. No, it's yeah, it's Zombie, Z O M B I E. Um, and it's from Menace, Menace number five from way back. So it's a magazine size like this. But this is this is super cool because I, I want to say this guy was in really nice shape 
from the pictures that I saw. And yeah, yeah, it is actually in really nice shape. No, it's no tanning, really. It's just a tiny bit around the edge, but not so much. White pages. Oh yeah, this is great. One of my all-time favorite movies is uh, Young Frankenstein, and we've got we've got our uh, Igor right up there. That's good stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, this is a uh, a Neil Adams cover, which is one of the better parts about it. Is that uh, just beautiful Neil Adams painted cover uh, that's on this guy, and it's a fantastic book. It really, really, really is. Um, and I'm super glad that I, I finally got that one because this one is not easy to track down. Oh, wow, this is awesome. Look at this Pablo Marcus interior cover. Now, that is gorgeous. That really is. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, I'm digging this. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so this was, uh, this was a, nice, uh, a nice purchase for me. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting this guy, uh, reading it, and then getting it slab because uh, I'm trying to get all my, I'm trying to get all of my uh, magazines in like a nine or better, and this looks like it's gonna, it's gonna hit that mark. Right now, most of my stuff is in the 9.0. But anyhow, great book, Legion of Monsters number one. If you have the chance to get it, pick it up. It's a wonderful book. It's a first appearance, and that's all I got. Thanks for staying with us, and I'll talk to you again. Thanks.